Hey guys, Neo Light Productions here. Um, today I'm going to show you the Colorado Sound and Lighting tripod mount. I have the one and a half inch pipe here. You can get the other one that goes on to like a speaker pole, uh, but this is the one and a half inch. It comes just like this. I had a pair of them sent to me. Um, I'll try to get a little bit closer so you can see. Has a like thumb screw on this end and a washer. And then you just unscrew the thumb screw, which has a pretty long one. It's uh, about that long. And then it has a little washer inside. And then I'm pretty sure the top part of this is like a little plastic piece. I'm not 100% sure. Um, down inside you can see the nut that they welded in there. At least I, uh, I'm not sure how they actually put that in there. I'm assuming they weld that in there. Um, and then what I do for my moving head is I have a yoke. I have the 255 IRCs and here's the yoke for it. I just use that center hole that's right there and then since that center hole is kind of big I put that washer right on there and then that thumb screw and tighten that right up. And now with this I generally just leave this in the bag like that because if I were to leave it connected to the bottom of my uh, moving heads I mean that that pole will be sticking out um, pretty far actually let me let me measure this because I'm not really sure how long this actually is yeah, it's six six inches long, so, you know, if you had your moving head and whatever you're carrying it in, you'd have six inches of pipe and the bracket hanging out the bottom of your, uh, your bag, or it probably just wouldn't fit. So then next, you would want to uh, attach it to the bottom of your moving head. Mine has these little screws like this they're almost like uh what is that allen key or whatever hex i believe some people call them um which they have uh, a little grip on the side of them so you can actually do these by using your fingers and what i do is at, at the gig i will hand tighten them i've never actually used the um Allen key to tighten them up. You might want to just to make it a little bit tighter um, if you're worried about it. I never really used the um, safety bolts either for these things because there's not really a point that you can hook them up. I mean, you can hook them on to, I guess, the, uh, the eye hole and then maybe the the um, turn knob for this and keep them from falling but other than that there's not really a safety point to attach to the tripod itself um, so here we're gonna just pick it up and it just slides right down on top of it so here you see it uh, slid down on there and then uh, once you I've never had any problem with it twisting or turning. Um, it's pretty sturdy. It's not going to twist and turn. And then what you do is you take your wires out of the back. And what I like to do, I don't use uh, the scrims for doing speaker stands or light stands. So what I use is a good like quality uh, Velcro strip. And then I clean up all the cables going down. Let me grab a uh, cable tie and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. Alright, I grabbed a cable tie for you guys. This is a cable tie, a Velcro brand one from Amazon. 
you can get a hundred pack for ten bucks. I think it's like ten oh nine or ten nineteen or something like that. It's ten and some change. It's got a little eye hole on the one side of it in case you want to wrap it around one of your cables. I leave them loose like this because I use a lot of them for cleaning up my cables on the tripods and I don't want them like 50 of them on a cable run so I just keep them loose like this and these are the black uh, 8 inch by half inch and then what I do is when I want to clean up my cables I already have a cable on here I cleaned up the first one so you can see that one uh, and then you just pull it nice and tight pull it against the pole and then I use like a thumb I'll use one of my thumbs and then I wrap it around get it nice and tight and there you go you can even tighten it back up a little bit if it went loose when you're doing that and then there you go you can see that you can't even see the cable behind it right now um, so you see the nice streamline there's not cables dangling all over. I mean, obviously this one obviously is uh, hanging out just for demonstration. I like to take them down the legs of the stands too, not down the center of the post because, I mean, you're going from center post out anyway, and you're going to have to use more gap tape. So why not use less gap tape and just use a few more reusable ties and go down the leg and also get closer to where you're going. Um, so that's the Colorado sound and lighting tripod mount. I'll try to do some more videos on reviews and stuff like that. But all these items that I've been doing on my channel are all paid for by me. Um, I don't have anybody sending me stuff because I'm not that cool yet on my Facebook channel. Um, so yeah, if there's any companies out there that are seeing this video and want to send me some free stuff, let me know, um, and I'll I'll review it for you guys. I'll try to make a halfway decent YouTube video. Um, but I want to say these are about twenty to twenty-five bucks on the Colorado Sound and Lighting website. I believe it's csnl.com. I know they have a picture of this little fancy setup on their website right now um, as a picture of what it looks like when they're mounted so if you like what you saw head on over to Colorado Sound and Lighting and check out their webpage they got a lot of cool stuff photo booths uh, a lot of different fixtures lights and stuff like that um, and if you like what you saw on the channel make sure to subscribe I'm gonna try to do some more reviews on some of the products I recently bought uh, I know I got the rock and roller, and I really want to show some comparison videos of the size of my old cart that I thought was perfectly fine until I got this R12 RT, and it's just completely different, massive tires and everything. So stay tuned, and uh, I'm sure I'll have that video up soon, and I still got a bunch of gig logs from this summer that I haven't posted. And, which I'm still trying to work on. I got a few other things that I want to try to do, like a giveaway video. Um, I got some freebies and stuff from American DJ that I want to give away. And I uh, want to get those pictures posted. And it's the off season, so I'll probably have a lot of time to do that. So we'll see those shortly.